Hi YouTube, Tim Unkert from UnkertEducation.com here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up VS Code key bindings in the RubyMine IDE. But first, if you like videos like this where I show you how to install and set up software, make sure to subscribe. Okay, with that out of the way, let's get started. So the first thing we want to do is bring up our settings. So we can go to the hamburger menu here, check on that, that'll expand and you have this option of file. And if we go to file and go down, we can click on settings. Okay, once our settings comes up, let's go to this plugins tab and click on that. And we want to go through our installed plugins. Now, I like to disable a lot of plugins that I'm not currently using to lighten up the IDE a little bit, but we do want to go down to our key maps and you want to make sure that the uh, Visual Studio key map is installed and enabled. So we don't even have the Visual Studio key map installed. So we're going to go to the marketplace here and let's just search for VS Code. And we see here VS Code key map. I'm going to click on that and install it by clicking on the install button. Okay, I'll click OK to close out my settings now. And let's just reopen the settings now. With Now you can go back here through the hamburger menu or use the keyboard shortcut, Control-Alt-S. I'll do Control-Alt-S. And I'm going to go click on the key map tab here. And in the drop down menu here, I'm going to select the drop down menu and select VS Code. Or if you're on a Mac, you can select VS Code for Mac OS. I'm in a Chromebook, so I'll just select VS Code, apply, and OK. And now we have VS Code key bindings set up in the RubyMine IDE. It's as simple as that. Hopefully, this video helped you out a lot. If it did, please like and subscribe. Thank you.